Hello folks, it's cold out here, about uh, 24 degrees Fahrenheit and it's going to go down into the teens, but it, it feels colder because I'm surrounded by snow and ice and uh, I only set up the Rasa today, I can't do two rigs when it's this cold, I'm freezing. And um, I'm going after the Soul Nebula, I'm trying to capture as many objects as I can with the Rasa before galaxy season. Um, I, I haven't forgotten about my big refractor, but that's going to play a bigger role for me in galaxy season. Um, for galaxy season, I'm going to have to be creative with the Rasa because it's got the, the wide FOB, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but probably I'm going to be looking for targets where I can capture more than one galaxy at a time. So it'll be interesting, and I'm going to be looking for examples of how to use a wide field scope during galaxy season. But for now, I've still got a long list of nebulas I want to capture as, as long as the weather will permit. This is the first clear sky I've had in a long time, and I don't know how many hours I have tonight. But for the Sol Nebula, I've already got five hours of HA, around five hours of sulfur. I don't know how much oxygen I can capture today, but if I get at least three hours, um, I may try and process it. We'll see. All right, well, that, that's all I've got to say for now. Um, I'm going back inside. <laughs> okay, so here is my surveillance, and I've only got one surveillance camera out right now. Um, it was just too cold to set up to. But uh, I've already crossed the meridian, and I'm going to capture the Sol Nebula for as long as I can until the object either goes away or clouds move in. And I am right here on the map, and you can see these clouds are heading for me. But yeah, I'm right here, and I can see clouds or a haze forming out of nowhere. It's, it, it's not a good night right now, so I'm not liking this. And this other view show some really weird crap going on. Look at all this, this purpley stuff. I'm right outside of that, but I don't like it. That might that might be high haze. I'm not sure I should see what the purple actually means. <laughs> but it, it, it's never good, I'll tell you that. Um, and there's, oh, here's my guiding right now. 1.08, let's reset that. There's a dither in there. Guiding isn't great. It hasn't been good all evening, probably because maybe seeing isn't great right now. And uh, people always ask me, uh, how do I get such flat lines on the graph? But that's because I have the biggest scale possible. If I went down to four, um, you would see a much bumpier graph. And, and that's why I don't go down to four. I, I would worry about all these bumps in the road. I, I, I don't care about the graph that much unless there's something crazy. Uh, I pay more attention to the tote RMS error, and right now it says 0 0.62, 0 0.71. Um, you know, with my FOV, uh, my image scale, I, it doesn't really matter. I, I have a lot of room for error. I'm going to get pinpoint stars no matter what. And uh, let's see, I mean, if, if I zoom in on this, uh, my stars are... are most definitely pinpoint and round. So I, I'm not too worried about guiding. I never worry much about guiding with this setup. Um, and, but what I do worry about is my mean readout, the ADU here at 2322. I've seen my, I'm doing, but by the way, I am doing oxygen. I mentioned that before. Gain 75, offset 15, one minute exposures. And I've seen oxygen all the way down to maybe 1,400 before on better nights, but when there's snow on the ground and my, my neighbor's fog lights bouncing off of it, it really does. I see this every year. It amplifies the light pollution in my backyard, and it's just, uh, it becomes a mess, and that's probably why 
my mean readout is so high. And right now I'm kind of worried. I don't see any data showing up in a single sub for, for oxygen. I don't know. I'll probably stack it <clears throat> when I'm done and we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see. I've captured uh, an hour and a half, 90 subs. So that's an hour and a half of data so far. But you can see one problem with my soul nebula is that this is a this is an HA sub that I captured on a, another day, which also has a high ABU, and it must have been hazy that day. Oops. And the thing is, the soul nebula is definitely framed in the worst possible position, and that's because I was capturing it at the same time or on the same day that I was capturing the the spider and the tadpole, so I got framing good on one, but I had to sacrifice the other, so I'm going to lose some data on the sole up here, probably. It would have been a much better fit had I gone horizontal. So, anyway, that's that. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure what to expect. If I get at least three hours of data, I'm, I'm going to stack oxygen and... and uh, if I don't see any data in the combined data, then I'll probably have to keep capturing more data. We'll see. But that's all I got, folks, so I'll see you later.